Welcome to our World of Fiery videos, covering topics of everyday importance to print providers. Today we will cover how to print grayscale pages using black only and avoid color charges. So let's look at some challenges with color management. The first one is problems printing with black. And we kind of talk about this in terms of this feature we call print gray using black only. Sometimes you'll hear someone say Pagubo. They mean print gray using black only. And this goes back to a classic challenge for color management systems with black input spaces. So let's imagine you get a job from a customer that is entirely grayscale, or maybe almost all the pages are grayscale. There's a couple of color pages in there. You go to print it on the Fiery, and you expect that you're going to use black and white clicks to print the black and white pages. Here's what happens. Some page objects on those grayscale pages are probably defined, perhaps accidentally by the designer, using the RGB color space. They appear gray because the RGB channels are all equal. So an example here is a mid-tone RGB looks like a gray to the eye, but it's actually composed in the design file of red, green, and blue, each at the 128 level. If I color manage RGB of 128, 128, 128 through a source profile like sRGB or Adobe RGB, I look up through that profile the appearance values in the profile connection space for that mid-tone RGB. Maybe it's something like 62 in the L-star channel, 0 in A, and 0 in B, since we have a perfectly neutral color. When I take the lab combination 6200 through the output profile, the output profile thinks that I want to print a mid-tone gray. And one example of a formula or a recipe that might come from the output profile for that mid-tone gray is something like 40% cyan, 30% magenta, 30% yellow, and 20% black, a perfectly neutral mid-tone gray in the CMYK output space. What's the problem? The problem is, this is going to cost you a color click on your print system. So you thought you had a grayscale input, but when we color manage it, it turns into color. And this is not specific to the Fiery. This happens on all color management systems and all DFEs that process apparent grayscale inputs in the world. They have the tendency, based on the way color management works by default, to convert them into colors. So another common example is the CMYK input. Maybe all the pages in grayscale were accidentally made as CMYK, using black as the only value on the page. So one example is the black channel is at 50%. There's no cyan, magenta, or yellow in any of these page objects. But when I color manage that 0, 0, 0, 50% K into profile connection space, I again get a neutral LAB value. When I convert that through the output profile with default color management, I again get a four-color gray output. Again, it results in a color click that I didn't expect. So to solve these settings on the DFE, we give controls under what we call gray and black processing in the advanced color management settings. And there's a simpler form of these available on the basic color management tab as well. If I turn on gray and black processing, for RGB and CMYK inputs, I can control this. I can force these inputs to print as black only, meaning you pay for a black and white click rather than a color click on that page. For RGB, our recommendation is to set gray and black processing to text graphics. The reason is that I might have images in RGB space with red and green and blue equal, and I don't want to convert those to black only. I'd get dropouts in the images that would look unnatural. For CMYK, it's safe to set the gray and black processing for all page objects, text, and vector graphics, and images. Any case of a CMYK page object that has black only in it, I want to print it as black only on the output. So these gray and black processing settings allow me to configure the Fiery to print what appear to be grayscale inputs as black only output that you pay the black and white click charge for. We have some additional 
controls in the advanced color section of gray and black for pure black. Pure black is a solid black. So if it's defined in RGB, it would be 0, 0, 0 in the RGB channels. If it's defined in CMYK, it would be 0%, cyan, magenta, and yellow, and 100% black. To properly render solid blacks, I can use the black text and graphics setting and set it to pure black on. Pure black on will result in all the page objects that are solid black being printed with 100% black only on the output. If I'm using pure black, another thing I can do is enable overprint. We'll talk about that here. I can enable overprint for different kinds of page objects, but really if I'm using pure black on the Fiery, I probably want to set this to text only, since it's really only text that it's safe to overprint. The other choices for pure black is I could configure it to use rich black. Rich black will cause all the solid blacks to be printed as 100% black and 40% cyan. So you're going to get a color click charge at this point, but the reason we sometimes choose to use a rich black is to make pages that have large areas of black coverage look more dense, more black and less gray, and in some cases less mottled. We can get a smoother appearance if we use a support screen of cyan. The other choice is you could set pure black processing to normal. In this case, we'll color manage those solid blacks. You will get a color click, and you'll probably get some combination of CMYK on the output rather than solid 100% black. Thank you for watching. For additional resources and e-learning classes on this topic, visit our website. To see all recorded sessions and register for upcoming World of Fiery webinars, please visit efi.com forward slash WOF webinars.